leaving us a space mail message. Hi, everyone. You have a space mail message from another galaxy. Hmm, who's it from? It's from TK's cousin, Rika. Rika? Really? Can we hear it? Of course. <laughs> Hello, name, TK. Huh? Doody, doody, doody. Hmm, that's your cousin? What did she say? <sighs> I don't know. Rika speaks robo -Zanian, a robot language. It's only spoken on her planet. I don't know how to speak it. Mission Control, you know lots of languages. Can you tell us what Rika is saying? Rika says, hello, TK. Oh. <laughs> but unfortunately, hello is the only word I know in Robozanian. Oh, that's nice of her to write. I just wish I could speak Robozanian. Then we could talk to each other. Oh, why don't you learn how to speak her language, TK? Oh, Orbit, that's a great idea. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a mission. Pick a planet. from another galaxy. Wonderful. What language do you wish to learn? Uh, my cousin speaks Robozanian. Robozanian? Yes. We have just the language book to help you. It's sitting on the cart, waiting to be shelved. Oh, dear. It seems Jonah has taken it away. Who's Jonah? He's my brother. He's also our clerk. It's his job to keep everything organized. <laughs> Right, Emma? <laughs> 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 
us. We'll see about that.
missing is my Galaxy Beaver Scout Spelunking badge. Spelunking? <laughs> Spelunking! It's another name for cave exploring, Orbit. You're great at exploring, Rob. Getting your badge should be easy peasy. I hope so, TK. I really want to add it to my... Hey, where did my hat go? <gasps> you guys didn't take it, did you? <laughs> uh, you may be great at exploring the galaxy, Rob, but you'll need to work on your finding <clears throat> skills if you're going to be a good <gasps> spelunker. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes when I get really excited, I forget where I put things. Maybe getting my spelunking badge is going to be harder than I thought. You just need to work on staying calm and not jumping to conclusions. Maybe some hands-on cave exploring practice would help. Yeah! That's a great idea, TK! And that sounds like we have a mission! And you know what that means! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Place where I can practice my spelunking skills. Oh, I love cave exploring. Let's see where you can go. The winter planet? We want to investigate caves, not igloos. Hmm, a basketball planet. Fun for slam dunking, yeah. but not spelunking. <laughs> The cave planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. should always bring along a compass. No problem. Now we'll always know which direction we're heading. Uh, did you hear that? It sounded like a flying cave frog. Uh, frogs can't fly, Orbit. And there's certainly nothing to be afraid of. Clearly you've never met a cave frog before. They eat your crayons. <laughs> That's just silly. Don't worry, Orbit. I won't let anything happen to your crayons. Come on, let's explore. Oh, that sounds like a hungry cave frog. He's drooling for my crayons. <laughs> Calm down, Orbit. We can't just jump to conclusions, remember? We need to check out all the possibilities first. That's a good tip, TK. Tip. That's it! It's water dripping from the tip of that stalactite. Stalactites are a type of stone that forms from dripping water. See? I told you it wasn't a... Ah! 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 Wait a minute! Why are we running? Frogs aren't scary! Look, it's TK's compass. You don't think the cave frog got them, do you? <laughs> no, Orbit. Emma and TK are as safe as your... Uh -oh. Huh. Where did your crayons 
let's go. The key frog! Phew, uh -huh. I think we lost the key frog. Uh-oh. And my compass. <gasps> and where are Robin Orbit? Shouldn't we go back and look for them? I don't know, TK. What if we get lost, too? Hmm. Maybe there's a way to help them find us. Yeah! TK! Emma! Listen. It sounds like something flying. Uh, like a flying key frog. I hate it when I'm right. Huh? Uh... I can't see it. Can you? No, but I'm not trying very hard. Hmm. What lives in a cave and can fly? Uh, a duck? <laughs> it's just a cute little bat. Have you seen our friends, Mr. Bat? We're trying to figure out which direction they went. Uh, maybe he needs a compass. <gasps> huh? Uh, hey, where did the... <gasps> that cave frog stole our compass! Come on, Orbit, enough is enough. Let's go find this frog. so we can go back to the rocket. Uh, I think it's the other way, Rob. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> Wait, are you sure? Am I sure? No, I'm Orbit. I'm never sure. How will we find our way out of here without a compass? We're doomed. Take it easy, Orbit. Just need to stay calm and retrace our steps. Mm. Huh? Now what's he doing? Hmm. Maybe he wants us to follow. Hey, that's the bad noise again. We're heading in the right direction. Listen, remember that sound? The dripping stalactites. I can see the way out. But what about Emma and TK? We still haven't seen them. Rob, uh, Orbit! I can't see them, but I sure can hear them. <laughs> this way. Orbit! You made it out. We were so worried about you both. We're okay. We just got a little carried away. <laughs> You know what happens when I get excited. Yeah, you lose your hat and your friends. <laughs> Wait, sometimes when I get excited, I misplace things. Ow! Oh, the cave frog didn't take our things. I must have tossed them in my backpack when we were running around. Ow. Oh. I'll never earn my Spelunker's badge. I'm terrible at cave exploring. How can you say that? You showed us all of these amazing things. And you stayed calm and found your way back out of the cave without even a compass. Congratulations, Rob. You've earned your Galaxy Beaver Scout Spelunking badge. Woohoo! Thanks, everyone. I'd say this is one big mission <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, I wanted to work on my spelunking skills. 
So we headed to the cave planet to practice. Sometimes when you're exploring a new place, it's easy to get overexcited and let your imagination get the better of you. It can cause you to misplace things or even lose your way. But if you stay calm and don't jump to conclusions, you'll often find that exploring new places isn't scary at all. Great job, Rob. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Cave Planet. dancing today. Hmm. Huh? <sighs> Poor Emma. She looks so sad. When I'm sad, Emma always tells me a funny joke. Then I feel better. When I'm sad, Emma makes silly noises that make me laugh. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So now we need to find a way to cheer her up. That sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. That sounds like a splendid idea. Okay, let's see where you can go. The superhero planet is a great place to feel super, but we want Emma to feel happy. The lost and found planet? I thought we lost that, but now we found it. <laughs> hey, the happy planet. No one can stay sad on the happy planet. Yes, the happy planet. It's the happiest place in all the galaxy. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Emma. If it'll make you happy, you can choose the first fun thing we'll do. Anything you like. Just name it. <sighs> Thanks. But TK can pick first. Okay, let's see now. There's carnival games or hover bumper cars. Oh, and even a magic dress-up booth. That would be fun. Come on! Your first drop. In you go. Okay. Hey, look at me. Ha, I'm a clown. It worked. I want to try. You mean cowgirl. Yeah! I don't think it worked. I don't feel funny. I just feel funny. Oh, it worked, Orbit. You look hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Emma? Aren't you having fun? Uh-huh. I'm okay. I'm just not in the mood to play right now. <sighs> I wish we knew what was making her sad. Then maybe we could help her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but until then, let's keep trying to cheer her up, okay? That's what good friends do. Come on, gang! I choose the red card! I choose the blue one! And I pick the yellow card, because it's the fastest, like me! We left the green card for you, Emma, because green is your favorite color. Uh-huh. Okay, then, everybody buckle up and let's get bumping! <laughs> One, two, three, go! Bumping is easy. Steering is hard. Bothering you, you can tell us. We're your friends. You can tell your friends anything. I know. I'm all huh? right. I just want to watch. You guys have fun, okay? Wait. Haha! <laughs> 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 I did it! I bumped your cars! I am the bumper car king! Huh? Hey! What's Emma doing? She doesn't want to play bumper cars. She still feels sad about something. Oh, I wish we knew how to make Emma feel better. Uh, hey, I know what would make me feel better. Come on, you guys. Orbit, this looks like fun, but we don't need prizes. We need to cheer Emma up. <sighs> I know. That's the idea. We're going to give all our prizes to Emma. Then everybody wins. Hey, that's a great idea, Orbit. What a good friend <laughs> you are. Okay, this one's for Emma. One, two, three. sad sometimes. Sometimes I miss my friends on the robot planet and feel sad. Are you sad because you miss Mia? Uh-huh. I miss her a lot. She'd love the happy planet, 
And I wish she was here to see it. Wait. Maybe she can. What if we take pictures of all the Happy Planet fun we're having, then send them to Mia? With an invitation to come here the next time she visits. Yeah, that way Emma and Mia will feel close. Even when we're far away. Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Emma was feeling sad, and we didn't know why. So we went to the Happy Planet to try to cheer her up. There were lots of fun things to do, and everyone had a good time, except Emma. We asked Emma what was wrong, and when she told us that she missed her cousin Mia, we knew what to do. After that, Emma felt better, and we learned that it's important to share your feelings with the people closest to you, instead of keeping your sad feelings inside. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Bye. <laughs>